I want Photoshop, but I don't want to pay $600 for it. The story of all of us computer users' lives, right? We don't want to pay for it. Well, my need for this expensive software that I covet can be temporarily satisfied by these free alternatives. The first one is the GIMP. The GIMP is from a site called GIMP.org, and it is open source and free for you to use and to add on to. There's many different add-ons that people have actually contributed to this, uh, to this particular tool. This is what the GIMP looks like. Now, I'm not running it right now because my computer can't handle having all these open, but as you can see, it is the most comprehensive out of the free um, image manipulation tools that I'm going to show you. Here it is, and you can see it's from the GIMP.org. Now, this supports layers. It supports every single kind of, well, pretty much every single kind of tool that Photoshop has. And it does a beautiful job at getting the job done for you. See these? I mean, it just goes into great detail. And I'm not a Photoshop expert. I have only used Photoshop for basic editing tools. But um, I hear that the GIMP is the one that is closest to it if you're looking for free. Now, another good one is Pixia. This one is extremely comprehensive as well, but it's not quite as complicated to use as the GIMP. Here, I'm just doing some basic manipulation of uh, the color. This picture was actually taken in this reddish sort of color, which you can do if you just hold your finger over the flash, if you don't want too much of a flash. And this is just an example of one of the tools that it has that helps me um, change the color of monotone. And you can see here on the right-hand side that this does, in fact, support layers. And uh, it gives me a bunch of different random filters that I can add. It gives me all the basic tools that, um, you know, the drawing tools. And it gives me autofill, everything that you would use in Photoshop for the basic tools as well. And I can add text here. And um, basic, easy, easy to use. The easiest of the easy, though, is Photo Plus 5.5. This is uh, an, an easy tool. What you need to do is you need to go to their website. It's easy to register. It takes a second to get the registration code back. But once you get it, you can go ahead and use it. Now, again, this one does support layers as well. And this is the easiest because it doesn't have too much going on here. It's got basic sort of um, tools, colors, layer management. I've got these little cute designs that I can lay over. This is my dad, so we can have her yelling, yay! And, um, and then, you know, once you're done, you can just go ahead and save it. Now, this one does, in fact, support Photoshop files, so you can just import them and manipulate them in here. And uh, they're all, you know, they're all good alternatives to spending that $600. And unless you really need Photoshop for something specific, why not try these out first? You'll find all the details on our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Send me emails, cat at techtv.com. Send me some pictures that you've used manipulating your images using one of these.